Hello and welcome back to episode 5 of the raid series and this is the last episode of the first week so um, hopefully you guys have been enjoying it so far. With the hideout we now have the Salewa crafted and we need one more to go. So we're going to quickly buy another painkiller. We're going to buy two actually because heck one into a raid. Go to the hideout, start this one up and that is going. Now um, we are still trying to get the 133 shotguns. The slayers will be about to be finished and we'll be able to get um, the first scare task probably ish. And, uh, still a little bit short from that, um, but I still want to get these shotguns. Now we do have one already, but we don't. We have the wrong stock for it. Um, we can use a scav run here, but a VSS scav. So factory destroy some some players, grab some shotguns, and we're going to get uh, those. Sorry, yeah, destroy some players, grab some shotguns, and get out. Not mess about there, and then we're going to get into uh, doing some other maps. Um, not interchange anymore. So we've done a lot of that this week. All right, let's go. in lots of ammo seven minutes into the raid gonna be bunker door then again yeah dead scav up here I want to get caught out in the open there. Quick look what we found. Juice and a key. Three or three keys near for a quest. That AK has been stripped. I want to try and get over to the other side. Could we, with the camera bunker door extract, close to it we can just run to it if we need to definitely a player scav or a player to the right there trying to gain information right now and all the noises we could just try and get out with this uh, VSS and claim the money from it really not really the objective though. The SKS or not the guns we're after. But he does have a th is there a three armor on? No. Uh -huh. Push me around like a boss. Come on. Get back, huh? take that one. Не, я с пацанами за такое не пью. It was a player scav. It was one. Oh. 
The way, because he, he was his gun wasn't level, I was so confident that was a player scav. <sighs> but it was like maybe there's some like weird thing I just don't know about. Trying to hit, I'm here trying to stop scav on scav violence, and then we run into that shit. Trying to hit, I'm here trying to stop scav on scav violence, and then we run into that shit. All right, so uh, mix it up. We're going to go shoreline. We're going to try and get some stuff from shoreline, see how we go. Uh, hopefully, it'll be a fun right? Mixing it up a little bit. All right, so shoreline. Um, it's an inter interesting map because depending on the extract, sometimes it can be really frustrating. Um, there's one extract on the far corners of each side of the map, and then um, there's the pier extract that you don't know if it's available or not, which is that pier right there. Um, there's meant to be a flashing light on the boat, but it doesn't really work like that anymore. You just kind of rock up and hope that it works. And then there's also the um, the rock passage, which is a bit of RNG involved in that one too with it having green smoke. Players will generally um, focus on a couple of areas. So they either go around the edges and go for stashes like I'm doing right now. Uh, and sometimes I'll, uh, or they'll go to the resort to make money that way. And the other option is to uh, kill scabs down the center. So I'm just going to loot these couple and then get away from this spot. Because sometimes players come down from the high ground here, shoot on the low ground. So I'm going to get a quick, quick loot in here and then get away from it. So we will be trying to kill some scams as well. Um, the the center line, so from uh, gas station to power station to bus depot is where the majority of the scabs spawn. Um, I will be following that center line as well. Um, with that center line though, there will be other players most likely coming to those areas to either kill players or scabs. So it's a bit of a Got to play it smart situation. We can go down to the pier. Sometimes scabs spawn down there as well. Knowing where these hidden stashes are is really cool. Um, I'll put a link down below, or up. make sure there's a link down below for um, the hidden stashes for shoreline. There's about 30 of them, so good way to get a little bit of a top up of uh, of gear. And you can get some cool items in there too, so it's worth your time. So like I said before, we're moving a bit quicker than, uh, than I normally would throughout a map. Mostly because there shouldn't be any players ahead of me right now. If they are, they're on the other side of the gas station. All the players are going to be behind me. And I don't want them coming up too quickly behind me while I'm just walking, so... I'm running this bit to get some distance. Um, and hopefully we'll be able to kill a couple of scabs before anyone even rocks up. Now, it's very common for to see players up where I'm standing right now. So sitting up here is actually not the smartest thing. But we can see a scav there. We'll get a quick... We'll hit him. He's down. All right, we're going to move nice and quick and we're going to try and kill... Uh, loot him. And then head probably up to the power station. I'm not going to mess about too long down here. I um, usually get up to about three scavs spawning down here. Two up at the top, one down the bottom. Or two down the bottom, one up the top. It's very common for players to come here to also kill scavs. So I want to move so quickly. It's a 153 shotgun. We need a 133 shotgun. There's a guy that are mosing over there, shooting down at the scab by the pier. But like that's how close behind they were. So if I'd taken any longer to get to there and do that. I would have been in trouble. And he's pretty much on that rock or around that rock that we uh, spoke about just before. The 
exactly why I don't want to stick around. Now Snobs goes up on the pier. You can see him right there. He's dead now. Not the pier, sorry. On the uh, power station. I do a quick reload, chop up my mag. And this will be the next spot that people will be uh, moving quite quickly towards. So... I, if, I use the sniper's game to actually target, locate, so um, you leave him alive and let him shoot at people and then you look at the direction he's shooting at and that's where you know where players are. Now there's always, look there's one, one right there. There's always like one or two scouts down the bottom here and they can really hurt if they catch you off guard, so. We're gonna go inside, check the couple of the jackets and stuff in here and look for keys. Good box here. I know I'm moving very quickly and I'm talking very quickly, but this is honestly the way I find Shoreline works the best. Um, and going really slow seems to run me into more trouble than, than it's worth, so. This while I'm searching this. A knife on, take the respirator. Pop a shaft. Back to searching these jackets. Jackets are really good sources for keys. I uh, should be searching every single jacket you walk past. Every single one. Uh, a key spawns on there. I'm pretty sure it's the East Triple Two or Two Three Six key. I'm just on on that uh, that seat. Now, I, I've heard that there's a reserve key spawn in that shelving there. I've never seen it myself, so. Yeah, it spawns literally right on top of that chair right there, so. One of the best keys for sure one to have as well. If you're walking past, you can get an opportunity to get a free look at it. I would, I would definitely be doing that. Gonna move nice and quick just so we don't get caught out off guard here. Another key spawns on one of these two shelves. Um, so it's worth checking for that one as well. Now, if we are lucky enough to find a 133 shotgun, we will be taking it. Well, there's a gazelle. Alright, so we're gonna ditch our armor here and take that gazelle. Because um, we're gonna need that for a quest later on. Tempted to take the helmet too. Just checking them for ammo. All right, now we're gonna head up to bus depot. Check for grenades real quick. I'm gonna throw any grenades I got right now at uh, let's drop that at here, so people think we're still there, and then I'm gonna run away. Just ignore that uh, fragmentation coming down. Yeah, a lot of people won't play as quickly as me when I when I do that kind of stuff. Um, I don't like to stick around to uh, to get shot at while I'm looting, so I move nice and quick. When I lose something like a gazelle, though, it's almost like, hey, this could be the time to leave. Doing a quick top up. If I can find a shotgun now, that'll be that'll be the dream. But. Um, after that, it'll be time to bug out as well. I'm trying to think if I get the shotgun. It'll take up at least four, possibly five squares. We're going to be the best look. All right. I'm hoping one of the scabs here has it, and then we're going to be making our way out. Got a hair of, heard a footstep. Could be a scab, could be a player. Dab's already dead there. And you will sometimes see players on the roof of the resort there, so be wary of that. I'm definitely not going uh in the gas station. Sorry, in the in the bus depot. 
I'm going to have a look at this scan from the outside, see if he's got the shotgun. If he's got the shotgun, I'm going to jump on top of him, gra grab it and get out. But I'm not going to overcommit here to... Uh, to looting something that might not even have what... There's something I don't even need. I think there's two dead scabs. One's got an AK by the looks of it. It's an AK. And they Pistol. Oh, there's not, not, nothing we need there. We heard some shots down at uh, cottages. I'm going to head towards cottages now. Um... Don't really want to get in a fight with the with the players. It sounds like a puffer shaft. Holy shit, there's a Mosin as well. This map's going off right now. I'm not hearing many shotguns. Those shots there could actually be Dev Island. That's that gas station. I'm trying to paint a picture in my head of where all the players are at the moment and where the most likely enemy threats are. So, by listening to all the sounds, what what's going on, that's what I'm doing. So. We'll go down to the uh, coach line and we'll have a look. Fairly confident of Mosin on the uh, on the Scav Island. Dead body out there. It's hard to see, but it's a dead body right there. Hmm. So the shots were most likely coming from the island. There he is, up there. What if he's looking at me? I don't really want to take that risk. Check the hidden stash over here. Police cloth, fence. I press the mouse wheel down on the uh Police cloth to go I dig it to examine it. I know this wasn't the most riveting shoreline run because I avoided most of the, the fights and that, but we're still trying to get that, that basis. I was actually um, looking at Twitter today and someone was commenting about how they did 30 raids um, of the new white and they only survived. Extract, please. They only survived um, like three or four of them and. I think it's because people might be just getting way too like aggressive with whole oh, I've got to take on every battle. I've got to go for every fight. 
There's nothing wrong with going through a map, like killing a couple of scavs, scavenging around and getting some bankroll up first. The, like even when I play at the start of the wipe and I'm charging through, I don't go for fights pretty much at all until I'm like higher level. If I've got some good armor, I don't really go for fights because otherwise it's too much of a coin flip. You know, they see you first, you're dead or anything like that. So we've now got our Salay with as well, so we can hand that in. And we should be really close to, um, we should be really close to level five. Pretty cool. And some extra stuff in there. So med station, we'll get that one. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to start another one. And then whilst that's happening, I'll turn that off because we don't need to worry about that right now. Um, we're 2300 XP from level five. We can now hand these in. Press the auto button to be able to select them all quick. They only give us 500 XP. But we also get sanitary standards part one and we've already got our gas analyzer. So there's another 2200 XP. We hand that in and we are now level five and we've unlocked more quests. So um, sanitary standards part two is just two more gas analyzers and then operation Aquarius is customs. Now ski is unlocked. We can uh, hand over this 3M armor. Uh, something that's a bit silly to hand over the shotguns. You can literally buy the four shotguns from him and hand them straight over. If you really wanted to, you could take the mags out and sell them. But yeah, whatever. Um, so we now have mechanics first task as well. So with this one, this is the one where we've been trying to find these elite pliers. Um, but what we did just get is we just got this shotgun with a uh, that stock. So what I want to do with this, so I actually want to put that on there. I'm going to, I'm going to assemble this one. And I'm going to take that off there. I can even unload the mags if we really want to be like dangty. And we can hand over our first 133. The reason why I did that is that that pistol grip will actually sell for a bit on the uh, flea market. So it's easy money for us to make it level 10. Um, but the 133 shotgun, we need to hand into prepper. So we can hand one of them in right, right now and we don't really lose anything from it. Um, with this other shotgun, we can just sell it. Pretty much everything we're going to sell from that part. And then we go here. All these couple of things. Good to go there. So hopefully you can understand the thought process of what I'm doing. Um, a little bit more with uh, why I'm handing stuff in and changing stuff around. But I really am trying to explain everything as much as possible because, yeah, it's it, there's a lot to, a lot to explain. Uh, we didn't hand, sell that part. One three, what well, sorry, one five three shotguns are actually really good as well. Um, especially a solid gun to use. Now with this gazelle, uh, we need it for a quest. We can just hold on to it like it is now and then hand it in later, or we can um, we could sell this on the flea market at level ten and buy one later on. It's up to us how we want to uh, progress with that. Um, or screw, please wrench. Uh, meds. They can both be sold. Some what could be used. Copper shaft. Go there, sell the Makarov, we need the quest found in raid. And um cigarettes we need found in raid. Cool. So what do we do from here? We have some options. Um and some of them are a lot easier. Um we could probably just go factory and try and get another shotgun there. Probably along the path that I want to do. Wanna sell this uh Makarov. Until we get this shotgun, there's no point going back to customs in my mind. And I'll explain why. Customs is a really difficult map because of how narrow it is and how much PvP goes down on it. So if you go to customs, um, you are pretty much going to get into fights unless you're really lucky or you avoid it like we did on an earlier episode. Um, and unless you've got other quests there, there's no real giant need to go there. With this quest supplier, we need level 10 to use the flea market to buy the 3M armors. Or we can find them on scavs. Now we can get them from going factory just as a PMC. There's some uh, fixed spawns for that. is isn't too bad. Or we can go uh, scav in and try and find some scavs with them on. So personally, uh, I like to go in as a scav when I can. That's why I've been doing it so much. And in the past, I don't really advertise to do scav runs as much as I should. But if you are new to Tarkov, you should be using your scav runs as many times as you can. 
Uh, it is a free loadout and you can get some really cool stuff from doing it. So what we're going to do here, we're going to go into factory. We're going to look for that shotgun. We're going to look for 3M armors so we can actually start progressing some of these quests. All right, we're in. 45,000 rubles. That's a shotgun. I feel like I'm gonna die here. I wanna fight where I feel safe. In the shadows. Dude, dude over here definitely had a 133 shotgun. Just don't know where he is. Really want to find out where this 133 shotgun is. Interesting. This is a really bad thing to go down, by the way. It wasn't over here. Got yeah. him. Okay, where's our extract? Remember bunker door. Don't trust any of them. Someone come up behind me. No! Oh! I heard him. I heard him. I got greedy. I got greedy. That was all my fault. That was all my fault. He um came up behind me. I see. So I went around. I saw the guy when I went around the pit. When I went around the pillar, I saw him, and I started going around the right hand side to come up behind him. Um, as I was going around behind him, I heard a guy coming from the tunnels to the right. So I was like, all right, there's a guy coming from the tunnels to the right, and then I was like. I'll move nice and quick, get around the get around the uh, other side. As I came around behind him, killed the other guy as he ran past. I thought that guy that as he ran past was actually the guy that was behind me in the tunnel. Right? I thought he was just trying to get away and he sprinted away. So that was my fault there. I, I could have got him if I just killed him and then turned back around and pe pe uh, peeked down the tunnel the way I just came. But I stuffed up. Um, I want to hold on to this ADAR. And what I want to do is I'm actually going to do a bit of a risk run. Um, something a little bit different. To fit stuff in here. No worries. Take a flight. Why not? And I want to go up a shot. Factory right. I'm gonna try and I'm gonna try and make something of this. So see how we go. Don't need the backpack. I'm gonna go a little bit slower, which is, yeah, right. 
kind of thing. But um, as soon as we get that shotgun, I want to get out. So if I can, I want to get into the bathroom, fight the scabs around the uh, office area, and then I want to get out. See how we go. Factory is my playground, so let's have some fun. All right, we're going to the factory. We're going to get this done. One shotgun. Man, and a shotgun. <laughs> we're so fucked. We're not going to make it. All right, I'm going to move nice and quick, get into the bathroom. Pistoling. AK. Six K not there. I can actually hear heaps of scabs running around over here. Oh, we've given away the high ground. Might be able to get him. The Mosin man. Come on. I looted him then. To the scabs. I want a one five three shotgun. Another one five three shotgun. Really? What a stop! Oh no. I get him. Nope. Ah, oh, fuck. Damn it. <sighs> oh my god. I swear I hit him in the head at the, um, at the crossover point. I shouldn't have gone for that heal. I should have just changed guns and should have tried to kill him that way. None of them had, all of them had 153 shotguns. None of them had a 133 shotgun, so it really sucks. Well, we always got that guy's tag, I guess. Get that for a bit of money. All right, so. Um, how do we do this? Really want to get that shotgun then. Do we back it up? We back it up. We go hard. I have faith. I have faith we can do this. Unless, unless you can get a shotgun from a quest reward, which I don't think you can. No. Take the cash there. there gotta be something, something else you gotta be careful about now. Um, quest rewards actually have a cooldown time as well. So if you do complete a quest, you need to, uh, you need to receive it before it runs out. All right. This is the one. Feel it. I feel it in my jellies. Now, with the last one, we made a few mistakes. We shouldn't have gone for the heal. Um, I, I heard him coming. I probably could have tried to run away and reposition. And I needed to reload and, and get more ammo on my gun. Uh, even if I just switched over the shotgun or whatever gun I had in the alternative spot. This one, we only have the pistol. So, 
Um, the aim is really to get a cheeky tap on a player or get a scav and grab the uh, the items we're after. The armor we're wearing is purely to stop a scav from one tapping us. And right now, all I want to do is listen out for where the scavs are and try and find them. Quick, nice and quick. It's a duo. They're upstairs now. No key there. Our med kit. And even if we do die, not that we're trying to, but even if we do die, we should get most of our gear back from insurance. play here is those players are going to camp the shit out of that office and do from here is actually get eyes on there from here So we're waiting for the first wave of scavs to spawn in. Once the first wave spawns in, oh, looting him. A duo will be in the office right now. We heard the two run up there. He's not sure what's going on in there. Reload my uh, mag real quick. Some people don't like people that sit in the bathroom, but I'm under geared. I don't really have the ability to aggress. I think a duo. One's got an AK. I don't know what the other guy's got. I oh, still hasn't left that room. First lot of scams should start spawning in about now. Pre-med. I think where we go. The scabs still haven't spawned in, unfortunately. Taking their sweet ass time. That guy's seriously sitting in there. He's, he's happy in there. It's the duo. Brother, it's a sca a scav's pushing the duo. Interesting.
One right there. I am using this. I hit him. <laughs> Come on, where are all the scabs at? Couple of minutes, they should go crazy. It's good to go. God, get up. Why am I not? One helmet, level three helmet. Bit of a troll helmet, this one. Waiting for the scavs to spawn in and then we can start taking on everyone and getting all the guns. We need the shotguns. That's the one. That's the main one we're after. If I could drop the AK guy nice and quick, I'd be able to drop both those players. It's the, it's the AK guy that I'm worried about. He'll get through my pack. Or... We'll give it a go. I wanted that pilgrim as well. Problem with that pilgrim, it takes up so much of your stash space, but it's needed for a quest. Should have an SKS though. Whoa. Oh my god! I didn't hear him in there. No. Made some pretty bad blunders right now. Oh, it is what it is. People make mistakes. And I honestly didn't, I had the door shut. I didn't hear him open it. I didn't hear him walk in. And mistakes were made. That will be the end of this episode. And the end of the first week. So hopefully you guys got a lot out of this week. Um, see, I die just as much as anyone else. Um, it is really hard starting out. The first, this game is one of those games where when you play, you start with the least amount of success possible. And then as you get more progressed through the game, it gets easier and easier. Games like World of Warcraft or any of those other games that like a big, you know, where you, you have progression, you start in the easy zone where you start and you're like slowly getting better and better over time. 
and then um and but going against harder and harder guys it tark off it's the opposite you start you're fighting the hardest battle of your life on the very first day and then as you progress you get uh better and better and everything becomes easier and easier as the volvo rates will go you know your amount of money the gear you'll use will be better gear and so it's one of those games you're just gonna have to as much as it sucks you're gonna have to like fuck it up and just and just take the the beatings when they come um i have no problem dying in taco i love it i i love every single battle i get into it's a lot of fun it sucks when there's some things out of your control that cause you to die but it is what it is um, but everything's a learn, a learning process, and you learn so much in Tarkov of every time you play it. So, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. Hope you, hopefully you've enjoyed the first week. Next episode will be out on Monday. So give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Share it with your friends. Start getting the word about it, this uh, the series. It's going to be a lot of fun, really informative. Um, write any suggestions in the comments below, my editors, and I do read them to add to the, the videos. And uh, also, I do share my Twitch every day of the week. So if you haven't uh, followed me on Twitch, if you, if you follow, if you have Twitch, go down the link below. Give me a follow there. Um, and lastly, guys, I'll see you next time.